This is Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks Part 3. Kathy here. We're going to be continuing from where we left off in Customizing Your Invoice Part 2. So this is Part 3. Here we go. So we're back at the QuickBooks screen. We'll look up here in the lists under the templates. We were actually customizing the invoice called QB Kathy Invoice. So we'll pull that up from our templates. I just double clicked on it. Okay, so here we are. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. We're going to go into the layout designer here. As you can see, we already imported the invoice. We included these additional fields of these four boxes that are down here that we're going to need to rearrange. So we'll click on the layout designer here. So you can do some really neat things in here. You can create a unique style for your invoice. Um, let's just, for example, let's go in here. Let's add an image. Uh, let's pick this one here, flowers. We'll say OK. So yeah, you could put a flowers image. And you click on this and move and drag it. OK, you can resize it. Move it around. So yeah, you can have a nice picture on your invoice. Actually, I'm going to change this image. I'll put up here my uh, Pro Advisor. We'll take this one out. So I right click and I'm going to remove it. Now I've got this picture here. I think I'll put that over. My, certi my advanced certifications, my enterprise certification, point of sale certification with Intuit. So I'm just going to put that right here on the invoice. Maybe I'll move it over a little. Okay, so what you do is you just hold it down and you drag the field, drag the picture. So there's some other things I'd like to do to this invoice. For one, we'll go into this bill to field. I clicked on it and see how it brought up this uh, outline feature with the little dots. You can resize it. You can move it. So I'm just going to right click in this field, go into properties. I can see this is the label field for bill to. So I can change the font. Maybe I want it size 11. Um, I could change the color of the font if I like. Let's say green. I can change the border. Click on this tab here. Oh, it wants me to say OK. I could do the border. I could remove the border if I like. I can do a background, fill background. Let's say if we click here, well, it brings up a palette. We'll say we want it to be uh, silver. And you can also define custom colors here and choose from the color palette. We'll just say silver for now. OK. OK. So see what that did here? It created a box that's filled in. Changes the look of it a little bit. I think what I'll do is just move this over a little. Move this over a little. Actually, what I want to do is remove the uh, border from here. So a lot of people are removing their borders now. I'll just take the border off this box. I'm going to uncheck the top, right, left, bottom border. Say OK. Well, now what does that look like? OK, now it leaves a little gray box here. That just shows you where the lines would be if you had them there. I think I'll take the border off of this one too. Properties, border, we'll take that off of both fields there. Okay, so now we have a build to data field box with the build to label on it. Okay, so let's just close out of this for now. I like to periodically save the work. If you don't save regularly, uh, your work could be lost, so we'll say okay. And we'll say OK here. Now let's take a look at that template for Cubie Kathy.
Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. We've still got quite a bit to do. We need to go and rearrange these fields here. And we'll do those in the next lesson. Stay tuned for part four of Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks by Kathy Hahn. Hope you're having a great day. See you soon.